So the Oilers just traded two fan-favorite players to Detroit for future considerations. Yes, for basically nothing. I know sometimes it turns into something, but in the modern NHL, usually it ends up being nothing. It's basically a pure cap dump for the Edmonton Oilers because they are cap strapped right now. So they go out and they trade Kyler Yamamoto, who, look, a lot of fans love the guy, but also... A lot of fans were okay with him leaving. That one's fine. Bye, Yamo. But Clem Costin goes with Yamamoto to Detroit for nothing. Oilers fans fell in love with Clem Costin this past season, and he fell in love with the team and the fans too. So for him to be thrown into this deal that's bringing nothing back to Edmonton, I imagine that fans are heartbroken right now. I mean, they love their Clem Shady there. He was scoring big playoff goals and lots of awesome interviews and big moments. They fell in love with this kid like I said and he's just gone poof just like that over to Detroit and I don't know if this cheers you guys up or not Oilers fans but he is going to become a free agent in a few days here on July 1st if he did really want to come back to Edmonton you could just re-sign him for nothing you don't have to trade back for him just sign him as a free agent here but why move him in the first place then that's what I don't understand so I'm not sure if he's going to come back to Edmonton or if he's going to stay with Detroit there but uh, I, I just, I feel like it's a pure cap move for Edmonton here. Um, it's just, Costin being included was a shocker to me because I really thought they were going to re-sign this guy. He's big, he's mean, he's strong, he's perfect for the playoffs, and the fans love him, and he loves playing for that city. As far as Yamamoto goes, I mean, it was his time, dude. I, he had a really bad season. This last one here, uh, it was time for him to move, change of scenery, fresh start, new opportunity. Maybe he can do more with it, but his time at Edmonton, you could see it was coming to an end. But a lot of people love Yamamoto there, so people are going to be sad about that. So two gut punches to Oilers fans this morning. I mean, two fan favorites for uh, probably the most heartbreaking words you can hear in sports future considerations if it's your team acquiring them we'll see what that turns into if anything let me know what you think about this trade obviously Oilers fans I'll see you in the next one peace out